In Hollywood, volcanoes and zombies are the stuff of nightmares. Think Dante's Peak and Volcano, where mountains awaken with devastating fury, or The Last of Us, where the undead roam a shattered world. But what happens when nature itself blurs these lines? Deep in Bolivia, a very real monster slumbers, but it may not be asleep. Uturunchu, a towering peak untouched by eruption for over 250,000 years, is sending chilling warnings through the earth. It rumbles, releases gas, and reshapes the ground, earning the eerie title of a zombie volcano. Scientists now fear this quiet menace may not stay quiet much longer. This is the terrifying true story of a volcano that refuses to die, and why it may soon explode back to life. Whispers from the Depths For hundreds of millennia, Uturunchu stood silent, its jagged peak blending into the vast landscape of Bolivia's remote Andes. It had erupted in violent fury ages ago, then faded into geological memory. But the Earth never forgets. Around two decades ago, faint whispers began to rise from deep below. Satellite images revealed unsettling signs. The ground around Uturunku was shifting. A wide dome began to bulge at the summit as if the mountain itself was inhaling. At first, the signs were subtle. Slight earthquakes, no bigger than the ones caused by passing trucks elsewhere, rattled the surrounding region. Scientists were intrigued, but not alarmed. Dormant volcanoes occasionally shift. Yet these tremors became more frequent. Gas plumes hissed from cracks near the summit. The volcano seemed to be stirring. As these activities continued, volcanologists began to call it a zombie volcano. It was a fitting, unsettling term. This was a mountain that seemed dead, but was clearly not resting peacefully. There was movement, there was breath, and perhaps there was intent. Researchers from China, the US, and the UK set out to solve the mystery, fearing that ignoring these warning signs might prove catastrophic. What they uncovered would upend everything they thought they knew about dormant volcanoes and thrust Uturunku into the global spotlight as a geological enigma. The Hidden Heart of Fire and Steam Peering beneath Uturunchu's surface was like entering a world forgotten by time. Using seismic tomography, scientists created detailed maps of the volcano's insides. What they found was a hidden heart still beating softly with potential chaos. Below the surface lay the Altiplano Puna magma body, the largest known magma reservoir in Earth's crust, a vast sea of molten rock stretching for over 124 miles. But magma wasn't rushing to the surface. Instead, hot fluids and gases, superheated by the magma body, were coursing through narrow pathways leading toward the summit. These pathways formed an active hydrothermal system. Like arteries carrying blood through a sleeping giant, they pumped scalding water and gas upward where they pooled just beneath Uturunku's crater. As these volatile substances accumulated, they pressed against surrounding rock. The pressure slowly deformed the surface, explaining the summit's sombrero shape. It also triggered the tremors that continued to rattle the mountain. What was happening inside Uturunku was not violent, yet, but it was alive and it was restless. The most alarming revelation came not from what scientists found, but from what they couldn't fully predict. The gas accumulation was reminiscent of other volcanoes that had reawakened violently. Although magma remained deep below, the system feeding into the hydrothermal network was highly active. This was no longer simply a sleeping volcano. It was an undead colossus whose every breath could someday turn deadly. The shape of suspicion. The distinctive sombrero shape that Uturunku formed was more than just a curiosity. It became a symbol of quiet menace. Unlike classic domes created by surging magma preparing to erupt, this deformation told a more complex story. As gases and fluids built up beneath the summit, they pushed the central area upward while the outer edges slowly sank. 
the resulting shape was unmistakable and deeply unnerving to those who knew what it could mean. This formation is not just geological trivia. It provides crucial clues about how the volcano's internal pressures are distributed and how stress is being transferred through the rock. Pressure, when bottled up, can be catastrophic. Gases trapped beneath sealed pathways have, in other cases, exploded violently when finally released. Although Uturunchu was slowly venting through small fractures, the balance was delicate. Scientists kept a close eye on the seismic activity. While the earthquakes remained modest, their consistency suggested that pressure was not dissipating completely. At any point, shifts in the hydrothermal system or new fractures in the rock could release this pressure far more dramatically. What makes Uturunchu's sombrero shape so sinister is precisely that. It does not point to an eruption now, but to a volcano that is capable of waking faster than many realize. This sleeping shape could become deadly with little warning. Zombie Volcanoes – A Worldwide Threat Uturunchu may be the headline grabber, but it is far from alone. Across the planet, dozens of other volcanoes fit the description of zombies. Campi Flegre, near Naples in Italy, is another chilling example. It has remained dormant since 1538, yet continues to show troubling signs of unrest similar to Uturunku. Scientists have identified at least 50 volcanoes older than 12,000 years, but younger than 2.6 million, that exhibit zombie-like traits. Their activity ranges from surface uplift to fumaroles releasing toxic gases. These signs might seem innocuous, but they hint at deep and ongoing subsurface processes. What makes zombie volcanoes particularly concerning is their unpredictability. Unlike active volcanoes that are carefully monitored for rapid changes, zombies often fly under the radar. Their last eruptions are ancient history, leading nearby populations and even governments to underestimate the risks. Matthew Pritchard, a geophysicist from Cornell, emphasized that ignoring these signs would be dangerous. Volcanoes that look dead on the surface are not dead underneath, he explained. These monsters slumber for millennia, but may awaken with force should conditions shift. Understanding Uturunchu gives researchers a vital template. If zombie volcanoes worldwide are following similar patterns, the lessons learned here could prevent disaster elsewhere. But deciphering which giants are truly asleep and which are merely biding their time remains one of volcanology's greatest challenges. Breathing, watching, waiting, Despite the unsettling discoveries, there is no evidence yet that Uturunku is on the verge of a catastrophic eruption. Mike Kendall of Oxford University was quick to point out that key warning signs, such as seismic activity migrating from deep to shallow depths, have not appeared. For now, it seems Uturunku is letting off steam, in his words, rather than gearing up for a violent rebirth. Still, this should not bring comfort. Volcanoes can change quickly. What is stable today may shift tomorrow. The activity inside Uturunku is part of a continuous process, with fluids and gases always on the move. Pressure, though released gradually now, could find new pathways that accelerate dramatically. Scientists will continue monitoring every tremor and steam release. Seismic sensors, satellite imagery, and chemical analysis all work together to paint an evolving portrait of Uturunku's state. This research is not merely academic. Understanding these processes is critical for risk assessment, not just here, but globally. For now, the zombie volcano sleeps uneasily. It's every rumble a reminder that even the ancient and seemingly dead can stir. Whether Uturunku will remain in limbo or become a global headline in the future is a mystery that only time and the mountain itself will answer. A global puzzle of the undead. Uturunchu may be the face of the zombie volcano phenomenon right now, but it is far from an isolated case. Across the planet, a growing number of once-forgotten volcanoes are beginning to whisper once more. 
from the simmering Campi Flegre in Italy to silent peaks scattered throughout the Pacific's Ring of Fire, these geological ghosts are quietly rewriting what scientists thought they knew about volcanic dormancy. They are not roaring with fiery eruptions, but they are restless, hinting at an underlying restiveness that demands attention. This discovery has sent ripples through the scientific community, shaking up long-held assumptions. Volcanoes were once comfortably categorized into three distinct groups, active, dormant, or extinct. Yet the likes of Uturunchu challenge these neat definitions, existing in a shadowy middle ground where they straddle the fine line between death and rebirth. Their subtle activity, from faint seismic shivers beneath the surface to mysterious gas emissions that escape into the atmosphere, implies that geological processes are still unfolding deep within the Earth, beyond human sight or control. What worries scientists most about these phenomena is the unknown. While some zombie volcanoes may simply be letting off steam as they enter a slow decline, others could be silently primed for an eventual dramatic comeback. Distinguishing between seemingly harmless unrest and ominous warning signs of potential eruptions is a complex puzzle that researchers are eager to solve. In this context, Uturunchu serves not only as a compelling case study, but also as a cautionary tale of what we may overlook when we assume these giants have been rendered dormant. Understanding these dynamics has become a scientific priority, and researchers are racing against geological time to map the intricate and hidden systems of these slumbering titans. Zombie volcanoes are not just ancient relics of a bygone era. They are vital, active players in Earth's ongoing geological story, some perhaps decades, if not centuries, away from stirring violently once again. Even though Uturunchu may still appear to sleep for years to come, its every subtle breath serves as a reminder that nature's deadliest forces rarely stay buried forever. Across continents, scientists now face a haunting question. How many more giants lie quietly beneath the surface, preparing for their time to rise once again? As we push the boundaries of our understanding, the urgency to investigate these phenomena intensifies, prompting a collective effort to decipher the signals from these dormant giants. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Uturunku and other zombie volcanoes pose a serious hidden threat, or are they just misunderstood remnants of Earth's turbulent past? Share your thoughts below and tell us, do you fear what sleeps beneath?